Welcome back. I'm Rachel and in this video we're going to go over the structure of the calcaneus bone. The calcaneus bone is located at the back of each foot and forms the heel of the foot. If we look more closely at the medial view of the right foot, we can see here highlighted in red that the calcaneus bone is located in the posterior region of the foot. If we look at the plantar view, which is also known as the sole of the foot, we can again see the calcaneus bone highlighted in red. Now we are going to look at the different landmarks and features of this bone. Here we have the medial view, the lateral view, the inferior view, and the superior view of the right calcaneus bone. This bone is rectangle-like in shape and is the largest of the tarsal bones of the foot. This bone consists of six surfaces. The first of these surfaces is the anterior surface. This surface has an articular facet on it for articulation with the cuboid bone. The second surface is the posterior surface, which is the back part of the bone. The third surface is the inferior surface, which is also known as the plantar surface. This surface has an anterior tubercle on the distal end of the surface. The proximal end of this surface is roughened and bears the calcaneal tuberosity. The lateral process and the medial process are also located here and are separated by a notch in the bone. The fourth surface is the superior surface. This surface is roughened and convex posteriorly. In the middle of this surface is the posterior facet of the three facets for articulation with the talus bone. Anterior to this facet is a depression in the bone known as the calcaneal sulcus. The anterior articular facet and the middle articular facet are located on the anterior portion of the surface. The fifth surface is the lateral surface. This surface is largely flat except for two structures. The distal structure on this surface is the fibula trochlea. Proximally is an elevation in the bone, which is where the calcaneofibular ligament attaches. The sixth and final surface is the medial surface. This surface is concave and has a large projection known as the sustentaculum talli. The superior surface of this projection has the middle facet, which has already been mentioned. The inferior surface of this projection has a groove on it. Now we are going to take a closer look at the bones the calcaneus bone articulates with. This bone articulates with two other bones. The first of these articulations is with the talus bone. Three superior articular surfaces, the anterior tala articular surface, the posterior tala articular surface, and the middle tala articular surface articulate with facets on the plantar surface of the talus bone. This articulation forms the talocalcaneal joint. The second articulation is with the cuboid bone. The facet on the anterior surface of the calcaneus articulates with the facet on the posterior surface of the cuboid bone. This articulation forms the calcaneocuboid joint. What about the muscles that attach to this bone? Several muscles attach to parts of this bone. A portion of the extensor digitorum brevis muscle originates from the superolateral surface of this bone. The tendon of the plantaris muscle inserts onto the medial side of the posterior surface of this bone. Lateral to this, the shared tendon of the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles, known as the calcaneal tendon or the Achilles tendon, inserts onto this posterior surface. A portion of the abductor hallucis muscle originates from the medial process of the calcaneal tuberosity of this bone. In addition, the flexor digitorum brevis muscle also originates from the medial process of the calcaneal tuberosity. The abductor digiti minimi muscle originates from the lateral process extending to the medial process of this calcaneal tuberosity. A portion of the tendon of the tibialis posterior muscle inserts onto the plantar surface of the sustentaculum talli. And finally, the large medial head of the quadratus planti muscle originates from the medial plantar surface of this bone. The smaller lateral head of this muscle originates from the lateral plantar surface of this bone. And that concludes this video on the structure of the calcaneus bone. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching. If you want to support this channel, please subscribe and check out more of my videos.